Hey scientists, it's Nolan. And I'm Adam. And welcome back to another demo of the week. Today we're talking about amphoteric hydroxides. When we say amphoteric, we are referring to a special ability for a substance to act as either an acid or a base, depending on the condition. A good example of an amphoteric substance is water, which can act as a base in the presence of an acid such as HCl, and can also act as an acid in the presence of a base such as ammonia. In this reaction, we're going to be looking at aluminum hydroxide and ferric hydroxide. Over here, we have our aluminum hydroxide, and over here, we have our ferric hydroxide. The first thing we have to do is make our solutions. We are going to be adding some graduated cylinders filled with concentrated sodium hydroxide into these two beakers. This one has just iron ions, and this one has aluminum ions. Now that we have our solutions here, we're going to split them evenly among the three beakers. Now we will add nitric acid to our beaker, which is a strong acid. As you can see, the acid reacted with both hydroxides and dissolved precipitates, which shows that both solutions can act as bases. Lastly, we're going to add sodium hydroxide to these two beakers and see what happens. As you can see, sodium hydroxide is a very strong base, and the aluminum hydroxide was able to act as an acid and react with it to dissolve. However, our ferric hydroxide could not act as an acid, and therefore our precipitate did not dissolve. This means that aluminum hydroxide is an amphoteric substance, and ferric hydroxide is not. That's all we have time for today. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you guys next week for our next demo of the week. There we go!